Hello my friends, I'm Robert Reeves and this is your weekly spiritual guidance. So as always, I am going to pull one of these cards out for you to bring through some guidance from the angels. Now remember, this is a, a message that helps us to focus on something or something that maybe we need to heal or to release or to just even think about in a different way. You know, and that's what I really love about doing with the cards is that they help us to know what steps we should take next. You know, it kind of sometimes becomes like this road map and we can see the paths that we don't want to go down, <laughs> but then it also shows us, well, here's the fastest and easiest path to get to where you want to be. Right? So I hope that through these weekly messages that that's able to help you to keep on track with your own goals and your dreams. But something else I like to do is just kind of energize the cards, right? So, and I just take like the box, okay? So I put the, the cards in the box and I take that outside on a nice sunny day, right? I just leave it out there in full sunlight so that that energy of the sun is just infusing into every single card. And then it just helps to boost the messages, I think. It kind of brings through more inspiration, more profound answers to our questions. You could also use moonlight, that's another beautiful method, but just something like that to kind of energize the cards. And in a way, I kind of think it's like a spa treatment <laughs> for the cards. You know, so they're not just sitting in, you know, a, a dusty, dark, old cupboard. You know, you're taking them out, and you're giving them that light that they might need. All right, so that's another fun little thing that I love to do. So let's see which card comes up for you this week. All right, let's see. Angels, what guidance do you have for all of us to help make this week a little bit smoother, a bit easier, helping us to feel healed, peaceful, wonderfully supported in all ways. Remember that your angels and God are always with you every single step of the way. There's not a minute that goes by that you don't have that divine support, but sometimes we forget. So here's the card that we have for this week. Let's see, sneak peek for me. <laughs> the chrysanthemum. Okay, now this card brings up family harmony. And it tells us that maybe there are some things that kind of happen where you know different relatives or even friendships feel a little bit imbalanced, okay? And sometimes maybe we have to hang out with these people and we think, you know, I don't really know if these are you know, my people. You know what I mean? Where, you know, you might be related to them, but you're completely different in every other aspect. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you have to be besties and you have to hang out every day. But what it does tell us is that there's a divine purpose for that happening. Right? So there's a reason that this is the family that you are a part of. It could bring us lessons, it could bring us growth, and yeah, sometimes it could bring pain, but it gives us then the opportunity to heal from that pain, to learn ways to overcome struggles and challenges. But this card is coming up to say that this week, those family dynamics and those relationships are beginning to heal. You know, things are becoming smoother and easier. It's going to feel more balanced and harmonious so that it's not just one person doing everything or one person ordering everybody around, but instead it's going to be more equal. You know? And that's what we are. We are all equal. It doesn't matter if people are making YouTube videos or they're posting stuff on Facebook or if they're just doing this stuff themselves at home. We are all divinely similar. You know, we're created from that same essence. And so we can't kind of put ourselves on pedestals and go, you know what, I know everything and that I have all the answers. And if anyone that you watch or follow or listen to is saying that kind of thing, then switch off <laughs> because none of us have all the answers and all of us are still learning. Okay, and I'm just like you and you are just like me. That we are on this path to learn and to grow together. And so you 
are a part of my family. You, know, you are a part of my spiritual family and my spiritual community. And I love you for that. <laughs> so I would love to you know, hear from you. Let, maybe let me know in the comments here, like where you're from, you know, where are you from? And is it, you know, Australia like me? Is it a different country? You know, don't give out your address, <laughs> but just let us know kind of where you're coming from and maybe where you're watching this from, because this is an amazing time where distance doesn't have to separate us. And so that we can continue to grow and enhance our spiritual gifts, even though we may never meet face to face. Although I hope that we do. <laughs> so I'm sending you lots of blessings this week. And I pray that these family dynamics and family relationships become stronger, become healthy, balanced, and complete. And I can't wait to connect with you again very soon. And may all of your dreams come true.